Good morning. We are doing our musical theater unit this week, week three of semester two. And I'm going to let you pick a musical of your choice. I'm going to the theater. See, theater, yay. I'm going to let you pick a musical of your choice and then do some artsy things with that musical. And I'm going to let you choose what artsy things you're going to do, which is kind of cool. So let me show you. I made you a little choice board. So you have all these choices that you can do. That's probably backwards <laughs> um, on the video. So I'm just going to talk about it. I've already emailed this to all of you. And of course, it's going to be on shstheater.net on your page. Um, but the first one is to sketch a set design. So let's say you chose um, Beauty and the Beast. So if you were to choose a scene from Beauty and the Beast and sketch out what it would look like on our stage, like if you were going to choose um, like the tavern where Gaston, it, you know, sings um, and and things like that, then you would have like like deer heads and like taxidermy and like maybe a fireplace and stuff like that. So um, the first one is choose a setting from the musical, not every setting, not the whole musical, but choose a setting from the musical, design what it should look like and label 10 parts. So you would label fireplace, you would label table, benches, you know, deer heads and things like that. All right, the next one, and, and you're gonna choose one from each row. And on your handout, it tells you, you know, row one, row two, row three. So just pick one from each row. And some of them are easier than others, but you may find that some of them are easier for you. Whereas someone else would be like, no, I don't want to draw that. I don't want to sketch. That looks scary. So you, get, you do get to choose them. And like, like every week this year, everything is due Friday. So everything is due on Friday night. Um, so the second one is design a poster for the musical of your choice. This needs to be different from the poster that you designed earlier this week. Um, so make sure you choose a different musical. If you want to do it on Canva, you can. Um, and if you do it on Canva, just email it to me or upload it to the Padlet either way. All right, another item on row one is choose a quote from the show, write it on a piece of blank paper like this, and write it really fancy and just doodle things around it. So that's an easy one and kind of fun. If you're into calligraphy or if you're into just like doodly art, then that would be a fun one to do. My my goal for this activity was to just have you do a little bit of research for the show. Like you would have to research a setting. You would have to research the poster. You would have to research a quote. So do just a little bit of research and then do something artsy. And I wanted it to be fun, which is why I gave you some choices. All right, in row two, we have some writing assignments. Um, and some people love writing and some people hate writing. So hopefully you can pick one that you like. The first one is write a professional sounding review of the musical. So hopefully this is a musical that you've seen and you're just going to write a review. It needs to be 300 words or more. That sounds like a lot, but it's really not. It's only about one page of text um, that's in like Times New Roman double spaced. So it's really not as much um, as much writing as you would think. If you'll write that in Word, Word will tell you how many words you've written in the bottom right-hand corner. So just be aware of that. But write a professional sounding review. Talk about um, the characters, the plot, the settings. And everything I'm telling you right now, guys, is on this handout. I'm just sort of explaining it to you because it's not really fair for me to just send you an assignment um, and ask you to do it without really explaining it. Um, also, we're not going to be Zooming next week because of all the weird scheduling. So, um, so there's not going to be a Zoom next week. But as always, send me an email if you need help or if you have questions, okay? All right, so the fifth item is write a resume for one of the characters. And this is kind of fun. If you have a musical that you really like, and a lot of my theater students are really into musicals, so they have a show that they really like, um, pick a character from that show and write a resume for them. So if you were doing Belle from, Be from Beauty and the Beast, you know, you would put Belle, and I don't even know her last name, or if we're told that she has one, we're told, you know, we know her father's name is Maurice. I don't know if they have a last name. That might be something you should, you could research. But you could put Belle, you know, from Paris, the skills that she has are reading and um, gardening and, and things like that. And she's very good at 
taking care of people like her father. Um, so for that resume, you're going to put a phone number, an email. So you could put like bell at I don't want to get married.com, you know, or something cute like that. Um, please don't steal my ideas. Think of your own. So a phone, a phone, an email, work experience, dates, skills, hobbies, things like that. Or you can write interview questions and answer them as if you're that character. Um, and then lastly, in the writing row, see writing row, row, the middle row. Lastly, in the writing row, uh, you can write a short, short version of the musical. So you're going to take a musical like Lion King and you're going to short, 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 shorten it, shorten it. So each character has like one line and it's very silly. And, it's, and so it's like the whole show in five minutes. Um, one to five minutes, which can be kind of fun. That's really more of an advanced one. Um, so if um, if you're feeling frisky, do that one. But if not, maybe pick the review or the interview questions or the resume. And then lastly, and these are, I think these are the most fun. Lastly, um, produce a help wanted sign for a new character that the show needs. So like in Beauty and the Beast, it would be nice if Belle had a friend, you know, like a, like a girlfriend that she likes to hang out with. So she would be like, help wanted girlfriend to keep obnoxious men away like Gaston apply to Bell at 6652987 must have um the ability to fight men off with without weapons you know or something like that i'm just making up silly things um but be sure to list what qualifications the person needs and why and who they need to contact and again everything i'm reading is from this handout and another item you can do from that row is comparing two characters from the show using a Venn diagram. Um, so that one's fairly simple. If you were going to compare Belle versus the Beast, then you would draw a Venn diagram and put Belle in one and the Beast in another and what they have in common and then what they have that's different. If you want to Google Venn diagram, that can help you with that. And then lastly, discover three more shows that are like the one that you've chosen and then draw a little bitty program cover for each one. A program is that that sort of book that you get when you go into a show and they say here's your program and it has all the cast members in it but the front of it always looks really nice it, it has the title of the show and who wrote it and stuff like that so so discover three more shows and sketch a program cover for each one those program covers do not have to be elaborate um, they can be very very simple you can even do them all on the same page okay so when you're finished you're going to upload this to the padlet or if that's not conducive for what you're doing like if you're if you're doing one of the writing ones you might want to email it to me so you can upload it to the padlet for a class or you can email it to me and again it's due friday if you have any questions let me know and i'll be happy to answer those for you and i hope you enjoy our musical theater unit uh, the musical theater unit will take about three or four weeks to do. Uh, this first week, I'm just going to have you choose your own musical and do a little research on it. Next week, we'll be comparing um, stage versus film versions of the same show. And uh, Theater One is going to be doing that with Phantom of the Opera. So you'll be watching a little bit of Phantom of the Opera, the film version, and then compare that to the stage version. And we'll have instructions for that next week and links to all those videos so that you can find them. All right. Um, I hope you have a great day. Take care. Let me know if you have questions. And your assignment this week is due Friday. That's January 22nd. And you can upload it to the Padlet or email it to me. Let me know if you have any questions. Have a great day. Bye.